one of the oldest neighbourhoods in Singapore, Toa Payoh represents a significant milestone in Singapore's public housing history as the first satellite town built entirely by the Housing and Development Board. Toa Payoh is known for many of Singapore's firsts, including the first cooperative supermarket and the first mass rapid transit station. But have you ever wondered, how did the story of Toa Payoh begin? While there are many theories on the origin of the name Topayo, the leading theory is that it originates from a Hokkien Malay compound phrase that literally means big swamp. You can probably guess that Topayo was mostly swamp and forest back then, as shown in this map from 1844. However, in the 19th century, land was reclaimed and cleared to make way for Gambia and pepper plantations. The colonial British were unable to fully enforce their authority in Topayo, as they lacked accurate maps, knowledge of outlying areas and infrastructure such as roads. These characteristics contributed to the reputation of Topayo as the Wild West of Singapore. This changed in the 1840s when government surveyor John Turnbull Thompson took charge and built proper roads through the Topayo district. The roads enabled access to areas that were previously impassable and the surrounding rural land could be developed. The plantations in Topayo gave way to numerous kampongs, as well as vegetable and livestock farms that contributed to Singapore's food supply. New businesses such as fish breeding and brick making were also set up. The growing population of Topayo meant that amenities offered in the kampongs like schools and kopitiams likewise increased. Residents relied on one another, with those of Kampong Puiting King along Buntik Road building a firefighting team and a watchtower to respond to the frequent and dangerous fires in the kampong. During the Second World War, the lives of Topayo's residents were interrupted. Fierce fighting between the Japanese and British soldiers occurred all around the bio. In particular, the area around Lianshan Shuanglin Monastery was heavily bombarded by Japanese troops. The temple within served as a refuge for hundreds during this time. In the 1950s, overcrowding in the city drove people to live in the urban kampongs of the bio. Singapore was in urgent need of more housing with better living conditions. Plans to redevelop these urban kampongs were met with some apprehension and resistance. However, after months of dialogue between the government and the kampong residents, most agreed to be relocated, with many asking to remain in Tobayo. Tobayo was the first town designed and developed entirely by HDB and served as a prototype for the HDB towns that followed. Each neighbourhood had a centre that provided social, community and recreational amenities. From the 1960s, Tobayo also saw a rapid shift towards industrialization. The cottage industries in the area were quickly replaced with new factories. Notably, many of these factory workers were women. The 1960s saw a rapid shift in cultural norms where women could work beyond the home and gain some economic independence. Today, the once exciting new buildings that gave new homes to Singaporeans are now beloved relics of Tobayo's past. Many of its housing blocks, such as the unique Y-shaped Block 53, have played host to a myriad of foreign and local dignitaries. Besides its housing estates, Tobayo is a neighbourhood rich with memories for Singaporeans young and old. From Tobayo Town Park to Tobayo Swimming Complex, which saw the 7th Southeast Asian Peninsula Games and of course the iconic Tobayo Dragon Playground. Tobayo is also home to many long-standing religious institutions. These include Lianshan Shuanglin Monastery, Masjid Muhajirin, Sri Vairavimada Kalyaman Temple, the Church of the Risen Christ and United Five Temples of Tobayo. This united temple is the first institution in Singapore to bring together five temples from the Hokkien, Hainanese, Teochew and Cantonese communities and their deities. These religious institutions stand testament to Tupayo's kampong legacy, where people of all backgrounds coexisted peacefully. So, what are you waiting for, dear adventurer? Come explore Topayo's multifaceted history and iconic landmarks through the Topayo Heritage Trail today.